All right, let's talk about previewing and publishing in 2014 version of Weebly because they go hand in hand. Now, if you look at other uh, help resources for Weebly from the past, there used to be a useful preview button. They kind of wrapped that preview now into either desktop view, I'm looking in the upper right, or mobile view. Um, they're both cool. But you're still in edit mode and you're still, your preview is being translated through their own web-based design tool. And I feel like for you to really be sure that your design works the way you want it to, you need to test it outside of their design tool, but still in a browser. This will all make sense in a second. So to do that testing, we've got to publish first. So I've got my content ready. I'm ready to publish. I'm gonna click on the publish button in the upper right hand corner. And you get three choices. Um, if you're working in the free version, frankly, the top one is the only one you care about because the bottom two, getting a do, new domain or using a domain you already own, both involve money and we're working in the world of free. So you can set up your URL if it's available within on a weebly.com, you'll be able to get it. So there's my, I'll change this to 2014, keep it current, 2014 sample magazine. It says it's available, life is good. I'm gonna click continue. And this is a little bit confusing because you're immediately told, hey, 2014 samplemag.com is also available. Makes you feel like you have to do something else. In fact, you don't, this is, Weebly saying you could buy this and that it is available. Um, and obviously you can immediately share your success on Facebook or Twitter. But what we're looking at is up above here, 2014 samplemag.weebly.com. That's the URL we just created. Now I can click that link and you'll notice I am outside of their editing tool, just viewing it on another tab. You can't see my tabs, you'll have to trust me, sorry. So I'm gonna click back now to this window and just close it. Don't do anything with buying a domain. You don't have to. We'll close that puppy up. So now my, um, my plan for making any changes and previewing them now would be I'll drop some text in here. Um, check out this video. Fix a little capitalization here and make my change there, then I would go up to the other tab, refresh, wait for my change to appear, verify that whatever changes I just made did work. So your best bet for previewing is to publish, open the link in a new tab, continue to preview and switch back and forth between their online design tool and the tab you have open with the actual website. Now, for functionality on a tablet or mobile device, you can go to their mobile view, but hey, you've already published it. If that's something that you wanna check out, grab a tablet or a phone and keep checking on the phone live because Weebly, like any design tool, is going to translate your website so it looks best. You wanna test it in the proper browsers that are out there. So on a desktop, remember, you're checking Chrome and Safari. Yes, Internet Explorer and of course Firefox. And on a mobile browser, you should definitely be checking out at a minimum uh, Safari and Chrome. Any questions about previewing, drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks and have a great day.